this is Mark with HP Voodoo, and we're going to look at the Blackbird 002, the new product from HP Voodoo that caters to gamers, like me, PC gamers. Absolutely. So yeah, this is the first product out of the combined entity of HP and Voodoo. Uh, Voodoo acquired, uh, uh, HP acquired Voodoo PC late last year, um, and we've been working for the last year on this product. Uh, this is a 002. The 001 product was already in uh, production by HP, but decided it didn't live up to our standards, so we decided to cut that product. Um, so there is um, a lot of Voodoo DNA, as we see on the inside here, on this product. Sorry. <laughs> um, just real quick right here. We're uh, doing a little thing. Thank you for the Um So this, this PC is completely tools to get into. These are also all industry standard components. So there's nothing proprietary about the motherboard or any of the components that are in here. Now that's kind of a change from the past with HP. A lot of times HP would have a lot of proprietary parts. Absolutely. Funky looking motherboards. And you still see that today with some of our competitors where you're forced to go back to them to upgrade components. But this is a standard uh, motherboard. You can go down and replace it at Fry's or any of the other retailers. Um, and a lot of, uh, of thought has gone into that. Um, the liquid cooling system here it comes in three different flavors it's either fully air cooled we can liquid cool just the CPU or we can liquid cool the CPU plus the GPU um, but it's a completely modular liquid cooling system so you can simply pop it off drop, put your new motherboard in and, and connect it right back to it um, when, so when, uh, H, when HP acquired Voodoo, they came in and they kind of ratted around HP to see all the kind of new cool technologies they could find. One of the first things they found was uh, a technology from our servers uh, with the hot swappable SATA drives. So again, completely toolless. You just simply snap in your drive. In there, of course, simply. <laughs> Slide it in. And you just installed your hard drive. No more fishing for those cables or this fumbling around the screws that inevitably fall on the bottom of the motherboard. So very easy to work with. Also, this is form and function. So the foot gives the, the, the PC a very cool look and feel, but it also lifts it off the ground and introduces a six side to bring air intake. That, en that en enabled us to make three distinct cooling chambers. So we've got, and, and that enabled us to move the power supply to the bottom of the PC, bring air inside through this chamber, and straight out of the back. So that takes the, the, the heat, uh, the power supply straight out of the heat and thermal equation. Straight in and out. So, um, also we've got uh, your standard um, input-output devices up here, uh, easily located on the top, and tuck away whenever you don't, want, don't need them. We've also looked at, at how gamers interact with their PCs, and one thing we noticed was, it's, you know, you have to have the, the game disc in the PC to be playing the game. So you're consistently in and out with different discs. So we've went to slot load optical drives. No more of that drive tray and that, that plastic door that's the first thing that gets banged off where you kick your knee on it. So, um, and then there's also... It's very flush, too. Yeah, and there's also a five and a quarter inch expansion drive if you ever need to, to, to expand. Over here on this side, um, we've got, um, these are user replaceable side panels. So right now, it's just this one design, but in the future, you'll be able to upload your own images. So you could send your World of Warcraft character or your Planner Guild uh, symbol on there and really personalize this PC. Probably the obvious question, but I'm assuming that there might be limits on what you'll put on a panel. Absolutely, absolutely. All, all uh, subject to trademarks and uh, licenses. Um, another cool thing that we've, uh, we've identified with gamers is they love to mod their system. They love to do things to make it their own. So we've got this VISA standard bolt pattern over here, which enables gamers and, and modders to add whatever they can imagine. You know, as we've seen with the crazy PCs in the modern market, you know, just something as simple as this is to get them started with their ideas of, of the basic things like headphone holders and things like that. But you know, as you get power out here, you can bolt monitors to it or whatever you whatever you want to get crazy with. Um, but since the unit isn't plugged in, you can't see it from here. But another very simple um, thing that we noticed with gamers is they're always getting to the back of their PCs for some reason or another. We've added LED lights in here. So 
these actually illuminate the back panel. So no more having to fumble for that USB connector, trying to find it with this with the uh, flashlight stuck in your mouth. <laughs> you know, it's, it's right there for you. We've also got an LCD poster that get, instead of those cryptic FFF0 codes, it actually tells you if you're having a problem with your computer and, 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 and at the BIOS English. level. Yes, at, at, at a little bit more level telling you if you've got a dim or something that's come, um, come loose. Now, what are the price and configurations say in range for a machine like this? Um, so this starts at $2,500 and goes up to $7,000 fully loaded. Um, it's got, it supports full RAID, so we can go to, to RAID 0 to 5, completely ready to go. And uh, I guess that's all the questions I have for you on this product. It looks like a robust system. Excellent, thank and, you And uh, luckily it's not too expensive. <laughs> But, we uh, think it's very well worth it to the, for, for what you're getting out of this PC. Well, Mark, thank you very much for taking some time with us and uh, look forward to good luck with the machine. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you.